the following question reads that a transverse progressive wave is set up on a string so there's a wave uh, and it's a transverse wave the string is uh, uh, is vibrating to and fro and a wave is set up the graph shows the variation with time time of displacement uh, for a point on the string now uh, the separation x y on the graph represents a dash of the wave so there is a separation there's a point x there's a point y and there's a separation between them and uh, it states what does it represent it represents dash of the wave so if you look carefully, uh, this point and this point are exactly the same point. It's uh, exactly after one cycle the wave repeats at Y. So this is basically just one cycle of a wave or you can you can call this a wavelength. But you have to uh, uh, also note that what is this axis? This axis is the time axis. So this is the point uh, where this is t1 this is t2 so this is the time axis so this the distance between these two points it represents the time it takes for one cycle of the wave or one wave to pass so it is time taken for one wave to pass so that is called a time period time period is the time needed for one wave to pass so this is exactly one wave and this is uh, the distance between them is basically uh, the time it takes on the axis this axis is time axis so it's the it's going to be the time period and then it says that x and y have equal so x and y are points that are getting displaced to and fro they this is the center point this is the this is the midpoint and these particles or these uh, points on the string they're getting displaced to and fro so they represent equal displacement so let's uh, go and have a look. Uh, one would be time period and the other one would be displacement. Not amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the maximum displacement. Amplitude in this graph is going to be this thing over here. The maximum displacement is the amplitude. So this is not the amplitude of the wave. This is, uh, they would eventually get displaced. To, so maximum displacement is amplitude. So this is just displacement. This point, this point is getting displaced, this point is also getting displaced, so both of them are getting displaced equally, so that is going to be uh, just displacement, not amplitude, so B would be the correct option for this question.